Hello everybody and welcome back to Survivor Challenge. Now you'd be forgiven to thinking it is daylight outside. It is in fact night time, but Virtual Dagoin has decided to set up some stadium lighting. As you do. Um, I don't know where he's getting the electricity from, but I hope he doesn't pay his bill in this case. <laughs> we need to get rid of that thing. Blimey. Look what he's doing to the place. Okay, so it is a new day. Um, I do have to check the greenhouse first of all. It's sort of, what is it, it's just over half full with water, so that's pretty good, it's going to last for quite some time. Um, but I think if we ever get a minute, it'd be worth keeping it topped up. Let me just move these. Trying to keep them all spawned, although it probably is a wiser idea not to spawn them, because they're just sitting out in the sun. Uh, oh, sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> you see, I never miss a trick. Anyway, today is the day when we need to start expanding this field, and in fact ploughing this field, so that we can get the next crop in the ground. I think it would be a good idea to expand it first of all. So, well, at the end of the previous episode I was taking a look at different ploughs that we can purchase. The thing is we can only really go for one furrow more than what we currently have, unless I was pushing the tractor to its limits, or beyond its, way beyond its limits. I am tempted though, you know me, I am very tempted to just try it out. Uh, we currently have a two furrow, this one here. And the only one which technically can be pulled by our tractor, our John Deere tractor, is the three furrow just here. But why not try a four furrow? <laughs> uh, despite it recommending 130 horsepower, our tractor is 100. I think it's worth a try. It, like The worst comes to the worst. I just put it to one side until we have more horsepower. Or I could just sell it. So, is it free to change colour? No, it is not. I was hoping to colour match. Okay, um, well, it's not expensive to respray it, so I will do. Uh, so that's going to be £2,210. Let's see if our tractor can pull it. It looks like it should be able to. I'll change my uh, tyres first as well, actually, because I have paid for those bigger wheels. I'm not too sure how much of a difference it will actually make, but since they are much chunkier, it's going to be worth a try. So, oh no, there's so many different options here. I need to find... Yes, I need to try and find my one again. Finding it hard to find mine. I think those are mine. They look like it. They're much chunkier. Yeah, they must be mine. Okay, so let's go and put that plow on the back. We'll leave our trailer here for now. There it is. Close colour match, not exact, but it doesn't need to be. Hmm. When you look at that, you really do think it's got to be able to pull it. Why wouldn't it be able to? Because somehow it just seems the, the furrows, the mole boards look really small compared to a, like a plough which you might think of for a, a bigger tractor. Here we are at the field, and this is where I put the plough down before. So I think if we just put it down again here, try and go as straight as possible and see where we get to. Um, yeah, when I say as straight as possible, it's hard to actually judge if we're straight. I don't think we are. No, it's, it's really tricky. I want to go sort of across here. So pretty much aiming for our house, well, our tent. Just see. Yeah, aiming for the middle of the tent. Obviously, we're not going as far as the tent. We might go as far as Virtual Dagger and Shed. Try and go through it. <laughs> yeah, if I stick on this line, we'll see where we get to. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's just going to be in front of the tent. But, as you can see, the gamble has paid off. It's pulling it fine. Six miles per hour, which is sort of what I would expect. Perfect. Um, and I don't think there's any wheel slippage, or no excessive wheel slippage. It's looking good. Yeah, that's the thing. My field, which I harvested before, was a very strange shape. That's the reason why this is now looking like a very strange angle to approach at. But that is perfect. That's exactly where I'd hope to be. And yeah, the, the minimap is live, so it's going to be... Well, it's almost live, so it's going to be showing us our new field. 
Not too sure exactly how often it updates, but as you can see, it has updated a section of the bit we've just done. Okay, and we'll stop about here. So I can't deny um, this is still going to take ages. And now that I've seen this works, it kind of makes me think maybe we could have gone for the even bigger one. Would it have worked? Hard to say. And of course, it's not a reversible plow. Okay, so we should run it to there. And we can start to go back up. Of course, if my plowing operations here are not realistic, like if I'm plowing the wrong way or something, then uh, you just have to excuse that. Thing is, it doesn't make a difference in this game. So, yeah, it's not crucial that everything is perfect. What I will try not to do though is go back up where we've just come from. Like directly. Okay, so you can see the layouts, especially on the minimap now, it has updated. So you can see the line. If I just zoom in. That is a pretty good shape, and that's almost a 90 degree. We've got a curve. Uh, we don't have to have a curve, we could actually go further down, but one step at a time, let's just focus on this new area, this new extension. So I'm going to keep going, uh, do a bit more ploughing, and uh, see how far we've got by the end of the time lapse. Okay, well that was working very well, but we do want more width. So we can upgrade to 1.7 meters, and I'm going to sell this one first, even though the 1.7 meter plow has a recommendation of 150 horsepower, tractor horsepower, um, just because it was pulling this one so well, it didn't even attempt to struggle. So before it depreciates any more, let's sell it. Hopefully it hasn't depreciated too much. Obviously I've taken the paint off. You can see the furrows there. That's, that's, sorry, the moldboards and the chisels and stuff. All the wearing parts. They've lost some paint. So. Repaint it. 1944. It's a depreciation of a few hundred. Not too bad. Because it was 2130 before. The other one is 20... I shouldn't have paid for the colour, should I, actually? Looking good. We'll buy it. And I can continue. Hopefully with a slightly bigger working width. Okay, that is fantastic. So it can pull it without any problems at all. Uh, I did increase the working speed during the time-lapse. I had to really, because otherwise we'd be doing just one massive time-lapse the rest of this episode of just ploughing. And to be honest, I would like to do a bit more than just ploughing. Otherwise, we're never really going to progress. So um, yeah, this gives you a really good idea of the size and shape of this field. 
the next thing we're going to have to upgrade is the drill. Well, it's uh, more a case of needing a drill in the first place. We, we don't actually have a drill. We have a planter. And I would like to have a drill. So, I know which one I want. It just depends if we can afford it. I did show you it in a very early episode. Yeah, this one here. £7,000, so we can afford it. Requires 35 horsepower, so that's no problem at all. Pretty good working width, 3 metres. To give you an idea, this plough is 1.7 metres. And our other planter, I think, is around 2 metres, if I'm not mistaken. I probably am mistaken. Might be 1.5. Let's just see planters. This is 2 metres. Uh, yeah, so it's a metre bigger than what we used before. Definitely keeping hold of this, because we need it for the corn, sunflowers, if we do sunflowers, soybean, sugar beet, and cotton. Again, if we do cotton. Uh, let's just open the map. So there you go, you can see our brand new field extension. Pretty big, bigger than field number one, which is in the top right hand corner of the screen of the mini map. In block number 43. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. But the question is now do I plow the rest of it or do I get a cultivator to? loosen the soil ready for drilling because I don't think that's a direct drill I'm pretty sure it isn't um, so this does need to have a tension or we could just drill this half right now and then come back to this which might be worth doing if we're doing two crop types uh, I was thinking we'd do just the one crop type but yeah to be honest I'd prefer to um, get something in the ground Hmm, it would come to a point though, wouldn't it? Okay, this is this is problematic. I think we need a cultivator. Something relatively easy to pull, but it's quite wide. Maybe even a disc harrow. Let's just see here. 180 horsepower, 140. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't offer us a huge amount for our money. I might have to go and check Mod Hub. Yep, I'll check Mod Hub. Okay, I've just taken a look, and really, there's nothing which leaps out as suitable right now because the thing is there are things but they only really offer the same sort of working width as this plow and we'd have to spend another eight to ten thousand pounds to to get it so it's a bit of a tricky situation so what i'm going to do at the very least is at least level this off to try and get rid of that point and then we could do a crop up to here I really would love to do it as one field though. It's just I'm very conscious of the fact that we're just ploughing continuously. <laughs> um, so I, I can't really think of a solution. It, this is the issue with the early days of a Survivor Challenge series. It's because we don't have the horsepower, we can't get a three or four meter cultivator or even plough. Or subsoil, because we just we need 150 plus horsepower, 200. We'll get there, but we're not there yet. So I think we're just gonna have to uh, grin and bear. We're gonna have to get this done, and then we can get the drill, and then we can start to put in a brand new crop. So I will. I'm going to continue. But this plow is just fantastic. It's a bit of a lifesaver, really. And the 2 far one which we have, I'm almost certainly going to sell it. I don't think we need to keep it for any reason at all, because uh, this has just superseded it. But it, it was great. That got us started. Without it, we would not be on our feet. And yes, we are on our feet. Things are going pretty well. Almost there. Yeah, so I've just made a nice straight edge. So we have somewhere to drill up to. Just tidying up this corner. 
And I think it would probably be wise to go to the far side of the field and tidy up over there as well. Although, actually, we could do that with the two furrow on our way over to the store. Just get this sorted out. It's a very small piece. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we'll do. All of this area, this new area, plus the bit I've just ploughed, this can be one crop type. And then that strip there, which is not a very big strip, can be uh, something else. I'm not too sure what. If anybody has any suggestions, please do feel free to let me know. But it is all starting to look good. We have our small yard, our house tent, and oh, the annoyance next to me. But yeah, it's all really starting to come together. Okay, so I need to drop this off. Switch off the uh, create field, otherwise we're going to be playing up the yard. Not a huge problem because I can just retexture it, but best avoided. Put it with our machinery. And yes, you can see the little blue plow. It is a good plow. But I just feel we don't need it anymore. But it does have one last job to do. Hmm. Shouldn't have left that there. Right, so yeah, you can see just where I've been turning with the plow. Just dug a little bit further into the grass. Not a big problem. We do have a margin here between our plot and plot 48. Okay, and I think we'll probably just go down again. And then that'll be it for the ploughing today. We've, we've done so much ploughing. Uh, then we need to get the drill. I will make a start with the drilling. We do have some seed. I'm not too sure how much we're actually going to get done. We can deal with the mess in this area when we actually plough this area. But that is looking much neater. Okay, right. Switch off crate field. Let's get over to the store. I think this plow is six hundred pounds to buy, so I would not really expect any more than three hundred. We paint it. Ooh, almost five hundred. Very good. So it only cost hundred and one. Unless of course it was eight hundred. I don't know. Pretty sure it was six though. Okay, right, so into cedars. Let's purchase it finally. Pick it up. Hopefully it's not too heavy because we don't have any kind of uh, front weight. We can add it as an option, but I'm pretty sure I didn't pay for it. So, yeah, it's not the end of the world. We can afford it. But really, that should never lift up this tractor. Yep, that's good. Okay, right to the tent. We need to pick up some seed. Really, really want some buildings though to put the seed into. It would be good to try and figure out which crop is going to be at its best price when we harvest this. I don't actually know how long it would take. We have seasonal growth switched off. But I suppose we'll be harvesting around December time. So any crop which is good around December, January time would be ideal. So just have a really quick look. Wheat. Whoops. Uh, wow. First one I click on. Perfect. 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 Okay, they all are. They're all sort of the same time. So I think I'm actually going to put in wheat. No. Yes, I'm going to do wheat. So my seed is just there. Fill it up. Takes quite a bit. And we can at least make a start today. There is no rush though. Okay, switch it on. Shouldn't have any problems at all running this. Let's just see what kind of speed we can do. Let me turn off the uh, speed mod. Nine. So it's actually set to work at about 9. I think this is fine. This is a, a decent speed. We don't have to cheat. In fact, that already seems pretty fast. It's consuming the seed at a fairly low rate, so that's good. But we do have two bags to go at. don't think we're going to run out. 
But yeah, it's still going to take some time to do this. Because it is a big field. It's going to be an immense harvest. Uh, yeah, so this is our boundary on this side of the field. But all of that grass there is ours. So I think I might, at some point, try out the trick which uh, somebody actually recommended to me. And that is to get a mulcher. We need to find a low-cost mulcher. And then get rid of the weeds, allow the grass to regrow. And then we can cut the grass and we can... Uh, well, sell it, I suppose. Although, I'm sure somebody will say, why do you want to waste money on a mulcher? You can just cut it anyway. Well, I know, but I really... Actually, would it, it probably wouldn't cut the weeds, though, would it? It, it would still look really messy. Uh, yeah, it, it just wouldn't seem like the right thing to do. We want to sell good quality grass. So, yeah, I'd like to get rid of the weeds. Make it a nice grass field. In fact, I'd like to get rid of the weeds, even where we're not going to be mowing. Like here, it's it's pretty ugly. Well, <laughs> it's pretty. There's lots of flowers, but you can tell it's not very well maintained, this area. So, we just need to start maintaining the place. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. We'll get through all of this. We'll do one hop load today. I'm, no, I'm not sure how far it's going to get me, but it probably will get me quite a long way across. Maybe the whole field. We will see. got to the awkward corner and we did have enough seed which I think is actually amazing that we had enough in this hopper to do all of that plus a bit more in fact with 20% left maybe it would have been enough to do the whole field like this area which hasn't been ploughed yet but it is best to keep that separate for now um, it would be good to do two different crop types after all probably something which we put in with the planter But we're almost there, the final piece. I'm very tempted to go up into the air as well, fly up into the air and take a look at this from above. Always good to have an aerial view. Finished, okay. So we'll take this back over to our farm. We'll keep the seed in it, no point taking that out. Lovely. really really liking the setting for this because it was tough to uh, try and find something like No Man's Land where we did series 1 and uh, this is this is fantastic to be honest I couldn't really ask for anything more because they're, they're both absolutely amazing maps so there we go yes the area which has been harvested but hasn't been ploughed yet does look very messy we can change that in the next episode but that is amazing. And as we progress and expand our fleet of machinery and drills and stuff, we should be able to do this in a very short period of time. And we should be able to do the whole field as one crop without having to spread it over two episodes. Oh, you've got the lovely view there. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm very happy with the progress today. I think it's actually... Yeah, we have progressed more than I was hoping to because I thought we'd do just the ploughing and a bit of drilling. After all, we have done most of the ploughing and, well, all the drilling in those areas. So, very, very good. Next time, we can get our fertiliser spreader, which is lurking just over there. If I just zoom in, virtual Dagwin, I blocked his uh, shed with it, just there. Uh, we can get that onto the field and we can put the first application of fertiliser on, ideally, before it germinates. So still in July. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.